how to use Google's rich results tester. In this video session, let's go and see how we meant to use this tool called rich results tool. Rich results are all to do with the structured data that Google supports. Similar to using schema markup validator, we can place our URLs from our website. That means simply copy the URL from your own website or your clients. And here we have two different inspection tools. Use the mobile version, which is a smartphone. Because in 2024, you should be having a mobile friendly website, right? But you also have the inspection tool for desktop. The reason this is here is because some websites are not mobile ready yet. So let's test the URL itself. And the rich results tester is going to go and fetch the URL, analyze the code and show us any rich results that is marked up on the web page as in any rich results Google spots. When you're using this tool, understand that Google Search Console enhancement reports are related to rich results. So if there is any critical issues here, then you want to use this tool as well as it's smart to use the schema markup validator as well. Meaning just because structured data that Google supports doesn't mean that's the only structured data a website can have. So now when the tester runs the test, it shows us more insights. As to say, in this example, there's three valid items Google has identified. Here we have the details of what they are. As in, in this example, it's the crawl information, which means can, could Google access it? What was the HTTP response code? Here it says detected structured data. We have articles and we have videos. We can press on the identified structured data and then we can press on what Google has seen and then take a look here. In this example, there is a blog posting. And in the second example, we can see there are two non-critical issues. Anytime you see a question mark icon, hover over it because it gives you a tooltip as to say what it is. Non-critical issues can be ignored because they will not show up as errors in Search Console. Non-critical issues are related to a markup that you can add more information if you want. In this example, non-valid item is a date published, which is an optional field. So if you want to you know, make sure that you're using the correct date time format don't rely on the rich results test because that's not smart if you want to have a proper structured data you want to look at schema markup and then search what date published is all about because that's the structured data standards and here let's look at microdata example and date published in this example that looks okay let's look at JSON LD here we can actually grab this sample code copy it go back to rich results tester actually I'll open a couple more others and using this tool we can actually place a code within the code option and then test the code this is actually a great way to add more structured data to a website as we can see the rich results test has analyzed the code snippet it has 
you know, seeing what the valid types are. Here we also have non-critical issue. We can press on the triangle icon and say, you know what, it's missing these optional fields. Does that mean you have to use these to take advantage of rich results? No, but surely if you can add these additional optional information, it may be ideal. So, uh, I, I, okay, I've opened search console <laughs> URLs. Let's look at the tester again. Also, what we can do using this tool is we can actually look at the rich results that Google supports. Let's imagine we're looking at question and answers. Let's press get started. Here, search um, Google will, you know, kind of guide us as to say, hmm, you know what? This is the sample script. Let's copy that. Let's use the code option. And let's paste that in there and test the code. Now, that should be valid because it's coming from Google Help section. So now it's related to education and question and answer page. Here it's related to a quiz. So now what we can do, this is actually smart if you're using the tool for your client site particularly. Because in this example, you may say, okay, you know what? I want to add question and answers to my valued client's website because they have question and answer section, for example. Then you can basically change the the questions and answers and then you know customize it for your own website or your client's website and then you can grab the code and place it on your client's website code over so that's another way you use this tool rich results test also gives us a bit more information in this example we've just used the text uh, script over so that's not a live website right it's just an example but here it gives a screenshot as to how the rich results may look well in this example it's we're testing the web page let's do something like this let's copy this here we've done that test okay let's look at that's that okay view tested page yes this is what i wanted to show so if you're testing a live url then the tested page can be shown on the right hand side panel you can look at the html code you can actually zoom into it actually we can't edit it here we can look at the screenshot of the page itself or we can press on more info this is same as url inspection tool in search console so that is how you use rich results tester to test live urls and look at the structured data of it to see if it's valid or if there is any errors also if you're adding new code, you can look at the rich results that Google supports, look at the examples, guidelines, copy the code, and then use the tester code option, as in place the code, test the code, and then make modification because it's just a tester. I'll show you what that means. Let's say rank your website optimization let's say mastery because that's what this is all about as in rank your youtube channel tutorials are beyond the normal website optimization ok 
Okay. Okay, let's do that again. Let's say A, B, C question as an example. And then let's say target name is not biology per se, but let's say website optimization, SEO mastery. Well, it's website optimization. Okay. So edu education question type. Let's say, what is rich snippets, rich results, let's say. Text, this is some fact about receptor. This is, uh, this is the future of web search. Answer, let's say, answer is engaging experiences let's run the test to see what happens now because we've just modified the code using this tester we've copied some structured data examples google sports and we've run a tester here it says no items detected Okay, why is that? Okay, let's say biology. Let's run the tester. What did we change? Target name was flashcard. Hmm. So then it's the flashcard. As we can see, that's how you experiment with things. Now, target name is a flashcard. Obviously, that seems like a valid item, correct? If that's the case, you want to then search schema.org to say, hmm, what is that? It's an education type. Let's press on that. And then within that, okay, now that doesn't open. So that means we need to read this. For questions that are part of learning resources, such as quiz, education question type, is an edu question type indicates the format of question being given example multiple choice open-ended flashcard let's imagine the quiz that you were marking up was multiple questions then you would select that go back and change that to multiple questions because that will also be a valid item let's run the test here it says invalid item detected practice problems let's look at what that is there are critical issues that means if we end up changing things around we will now need to add more information so that the rich results are valid that is how you use rich results tester to test live urls to test the code of the live website or to add more structured data that google spots and then customize it so that it is valid so that you can place it on your website i thank you for learning with rankia and i'll talk with you in the next video session.